डिस्पोजिटर मीन्स द राशि लॉर्ड राशि लॉर्ड ऑफ अ प्लैनेट इज कॉल्ड डिस्पोजिटर lately we have been talking about strong planets and i have told you that strong planets gives a strong result powerful result not necessarily these results are beneficial also right the results can be bad as well that depends on what type of planet it is beneficial planet malefic planet lord of good houses lord of bad houses but if you ask me who is the most beneficial planet i will tell you it is the planet who is aspected by its dispositor who is aspected by its rashi lord this is the most beneficial planet what i have seen in my experience right if you nowadays the sad part is that people call themselves astrologers but they don't know about many basic things of astrology that in parampara even 20 year old children will know right that is the result of planet in houses the result of planet in rashis etc in my experience what i have found that many a times as per the result of planet in house or as per the result of planet in rashi the planet is bad but he is not giving bad result and this specifically happens when the planet is aspected by the rashi lord for an example if there is a malefic in the second house planet like saturn etc you will say that second house significations are bad person should not have a family person should not have support from family person should not have wealth this is general result even if that result is not there then at least person have a normal family who do want to support but cannot support because they are into a condition and the person have a mediocre a financial status this should be true but what i have seen that if the this malefic in the second house is saturn sun mars or any planet if they are influenced by the rashi lord conjoined by the rashi lord if they are conjoined by the rashi lord then technically rashi lord is also in the house it is good result but if they are aspected by the rashi lord if they are getting an aspect by the rashi lord then even these bad results are gone so say there is a malefic planet in second house but he is aspected by the rashi lord in that scenario he will give a good family good supportive family family will also have much wealth and resources so inheritance will be there and financial condition will also be good so when you will ask me who is the most beneficial planet i will tell you the most beneficial planet of the horoscope is the planet who is connected by the lord of the rashi he is situated in now because he is the beneficial planet what happens the house where the planet is situated in there is very good result related to that house even in the case of bad houses say when it is sixth house good result related to sixth house will be there will be no competition there will be enmity even if there is competition person is easily successful even if there is enmity enmity is easily subdued person have little to no disease in the case of 8th house also good result will be no fluctuations in life stability in life the person getting inheritance person having good health person having long life in case of 12th house the good result will be that person is having good financial status he is able to spend at luxuries and wherever he spends money the uh, you know the spending of the money is worthy person is always surrounded by people person is uh, a person is popular and even when the person lives alone he uses his alone time very constructively in thinking about something in you know scientific pursuits in spiritual pursuits and all of these things so when <clears throat> this will happen in two cases in these bad houses if there is a planet who is influenced by the rashi lord or if the lord of these rashis lord of these houses are going into those rashis where they are influenced by the rashi lords then these planets become very very beneficial now because this planet is beneficial it does not only give beneficial result related to the house they are situated in or related to the house they owns but they also give very beneficial results in their dasha antardasha so in the dasha antardasha of this planet person generally becomes free of sufferings becomes free of diseases gains much name fame status wealth recognition these things also they gain so technically this planet is very beneficial and whatever a beneficial result may constitute that result these planets give according to me this is the most most beneficial planet talking about the basics of astrology you see people are very poor in basics of astrology 
that you see we think that combustion conjunction is the most powerful connection but if you have read astrology in the traditional way you will know that most powerful connection is exchange between two planets right planet a in the rashi of planet b planet b in the rashi of planet a this is the most powerful connection second most powerful connection is aspected by dispositor if any planet is aspected by the rashi lord then the rashi lord and the planet who is aspected they both also share a very strong relationship which is second strongest relationship third strongest relationship is between the two planets who are mutually aspecting each other and it is only the fourth most powerful connection of conjunction if two planets are conjoined with each other it is the fourth most powerful connection so but in all these cases in the case of exchange also in the case of mutual aspect as well in the case of conjunction also whatever is the result because these two planets are connected who are exchanging mutually aspecting each other or conjoined with each other they both are connecting so they will give result that happens with their connection that result can be good or bad anyways but this second condition of planet being aspected by dispositor planet being aspected by rashi lord here the connection between these two planets are there and this connection is very beneficial this connection is very good also right so this is something that is very very important this you should note and this is technically the most beneficial planet in giving result and in showing result giving direction to the native's life in their dasha antar dasha also now before we because you see in this topic one thing is coming dispositor or the rashi lord what does the rashi lord do this also you should understand how does the rashi lord work you see because generally when we see an exalted planet or some planet we just become very happy that the planet is exalted but one point we miss that for complete 100% good result to come the rashi lord of that exalted planet should also be powerful why because the rashi lord provides you with strength take like exalted planet is like a powerful you see a powerful commander a powerful you know leader of organization leader of a company he is leading over that organization that is represented by the rashi for example if sun is exalted he is exalted in the rashi aries he is the ruler of a company named aries and this company is represented by the employees whether the company is powerful whether the company can do something or not that is dependent on what the employees have achieved and this is represented by the dispositor this is represented by the rashi lord this will be represented by the dispositor so a planet is only powerful in exalted planet multrikon planet so rashi planet varguttam planet is only powerful when the lord of the rashi is also powerful so you say an exalted planet when the lord of the rashi is also exalted multrikon so rashi varguttam becomes very powerful and very beneficial and this planet gets super power this planet becomes extremely powerful to do good result to give good result to give life changing life altering results in their dasha antar dasha at least the rashi lord of the exalted planet should be in a normal condition should not be debilitated combust or otherwise weak for the complete good result of exaltation or other good conditions multrikon so rashi varguttam etc to come because otherwise if the rashi lord of the, a powerful planet is weak then in that particular scenario though the planet is powerful and good result related to the powerful planet prominent result related to the powerful planet may be felt but because the rashi lord is weak there are not much resources in that particular scenario whatever good result is happening that good result is happening in a lower set of area only for example you understand if a planet is exalted it gives you money right it gives you wealth it gives you power now if the rashi lord of the planet is also powerful it does not give you power only it gives power to your wife also to your children also to your parents also so all of you have increase in income all of you have increase in your professional status so you become super powerful because not only you are powerful people around you are also powerful on the other hand if the rashi lord of an exalted planet is weak in that scenario you may only gain power but people around you your wife your children your parents they have a normal mediocre life or even they get setbacks in their life 
So though you become powerful, but because people around you are not becoming powerful or rather they are becoming weak, your power will generally be wasted in taking care of them. So one thing you should understand that a planet is powerful or a planet can give result which is akin to the result of their Rashi Lord. So if the Rashi Lord of the planet becomes powerful, even a mediocre planet is good result giving. For example, you say Venus is going into the Rashi of Mars and Mars is powerful. In that scenario, not only Mars is powerful, but because Venus is in the Rashi of Mars, Venus is also powerful and Venus will also give good results. Venus is also very resourceful. Now, because Venus is resourceful and Venus indicates luxuries, that means there will be luxuries in multiple areas of your life. There will be luxuries in your professional life also. There will be luxuries in your personal life also. There will be good result of Venus in your social life also and all of these things. Now, luxuries in professional life means you have good professional status. Luxuries in personal life means you have a good home. Luxuries in social life means you have influential friends and all of these things, right? So the dispositor in Rashi chart, it becomes a very powerful, it becomes a very strong planet and actually indicate the resources. It actually indicates the resources that the planet comes up with. And two simple points are there. If any planet is powerful for the, you know, for the powerful results to actually come, the Rashi Lord should be in a good condition. If the Rashi Lord goes into a bad condition, even good conditions like exaltation and other good conditions are wasted. And in those cases where the planet is powerful and the Rashi Lord is also powerful, the good result of the planet ex exceeds multiple levels. Right? This is the prime difference between the result. Many a time you see that two people have exalted sun, but one have a weak Mars and one have a normal Mars. And when you try to compare result between these two people with their exalted sun, you will see that the results are not equal. Because the resource that will be provided, the resource to an exalted sun will be provided by Mars. So if the Mars is very, very powerful, then in that particular scenario, the sun will be super, very, very super powerful. Right? Whereas if the Mars is weak, then this powerful sun will lose much of his strength. And then you will see that this exaltation of sun is only working at a mediocre level. And there is nothing special that is happening. This is something that you have to keep in mind. Otherwise, your analysis will not be complete. On the other hand, Navamsha dispositor of the planet also becomes very important. And then there is Drekkan dispositor of the planet also. Drekkan is the third divisional chart. You may also know it as D3. <clears throat> so what you have to do if you are analyzing a planet, open the D3 chart and see in which Rashi the planet is situated in and the Rashi Lord of the planet in D3 chart, I will call it as a longevity planet. So for example, you say you have Venus. Venus indicates wife, Venus indicates marriage, Venus indicates marital life. Now check the Rashi Lord of Venus in D3 chart and then check this planet in Rashi chart again. You are not going to check this planet in D3 chart itself. You are going to check this planet in D1 chart. Now, if the Rashi Lord of Venus in D3 chart is powerful in D1 chart, that means to say the longevity of your marriage is good. So whatever is the result, because Venus is going to give marriage and the D3 Lord is powerful, means you enjoy marriage for long. Whereas if the D3 Lord of Venus becomes weak in Rashi chart, in that scenario, the longevity of the result or the time for which you enjoy the result of Venus becomes highly compromised to become become low, right? So in that particular scenario, even good enjoyment is greatly wasted. That right? this is something that you should deeply understand. That right? this you should keep in mind always. For example, if you check this particular horoscope, Yeah, big, bigger horoscope. Like in this horoscope, the chart that you see inside is the Rashi chart. The chart that you see outside is D3 chart. Now check Venus. In the outer chart, Venus is going into Gemini Rashi. 
So the D3 dispositor or D3 Rashi Lord of Venus is Mercury. You can see here also, right? In D3 chart, Venus is going into the D3 of Gemini, the Rashi Lord of Venus, the Dreshkan Lord, the D3 Lord of Venus is Mercury. And now you have to check this Mercury back in the Rashi chart, right? So I'm using a bigger chart so that you can see it very clearly. Now coming to the Rashi chart, what do you see that Mercury is in the sign Scorpio? Now Scorpio is not a very good Rashi for Mercury. Mercury does not feel very good in Scorpio. If you have seen my previous video, Planet in Friendly Rashi, you will quickly recognize that from the Mulatrikon of Mercury from Virgo, when we see Scorpio becomes the third Rashi, which is not beneficial for Mercury. This is a Mercury in a bad condition, right? Now, because this Mercury is weak, the D3 dispositor of Venus is weak. Though this Venus is very good, Venus is into his own sign, so marital life is good. But because the D3 dispositor of Venus, that is Mercury, is weak, the enjoyment of marital life was not for long. And the enjoyment of marital life was for 10 to 11 years only, after which the husband met with an unfortunate accident. So whenever you want to see, for example, 10th Lord is powerful, it will give you good status in your profession. But for how long? Check the D3 Rashi Lord of 10th Lord in Rashi chart itself. Right. And as per strength or weakness of this planet, if this planet is very powerful, then the position you are going to have in your profession will be sustained for long. Otherwise not. This is something that you have to take care of. Other than that, the Navamsha dispositor of the planet also becomes very powerful. Take the planet. Now check in which Navamsha the planet is going. Now take the Navamsha Lord and check the strength of this planet either in D1 chart or in the D9 chart itself. Better check in D1 chart. For strength, it is better to use D1 chart. Though D9 have its own uses in strength, so I cannot completely deny the uses of D9. But better use D1. <clears throat> Now, the D9 planet is the fortune planet. For example, we are saying that, okay, two types of things are there. Talking of profession, how does this fortune work? For example, if the 10th Lord is powerful, you are having power and status in your profession. Now, this power and status can go into two categories. For example, you say, the 10th Lord is powerful. You are having power in your profession. Now this power is in profession is that you are at a ruling position in a profession. You are some CEO manager type of a person. Now, technically this power of profession is like many people are working under you. Many people will obey your commands because you are at a managerial position. This is natural to come. This will come. Now, in this particular scenario, if the Navamsh Lord of the planet is weak in Rashi chart, then despite having a managerial position, many people will not listen to you. So you are a type of manager who is not much supported by their subordinates. And though they may listen to you, but they don't actually want to listen to you and they will not want to come in front of you. They will not want to listen what you are, what you are saying or whatever you are telling them to do. Right. So this limits the power. On the other hand, if the D9 Rashi Lord of the planet is a normal strength, that is okay. That means you are at a managerial position. People are listening to you. But if this planet is powerful, D9 Rashi Lord of the 10th Lord becomes powerful, then it increases your power, fortune and influence. Now, what does this increase may mean? For example, see the 10th Lord is powerful. You have good status in your profession. Now, Navamsha Lord of this 10th Lord is also powerful. So, see, you are at a managerial position in a bank. And because this Navamsha Lord of the 10th Lord is powerful, that means your employees are listening to you. That is there. <clears throat> but other than that, you also have good contacts with rich and other influential people of the society. They are coming to your bank and they are having a personal relationship. Now, because they are having a personal relationship with you, they will listen to you and they will come to your help whenever, whenever help is needed. Right? You have strong contacts. 
and these strong contacts you can use in your life right this will greatly benefit you also right for an example this is a horoscope of albert einstein 10th house lord is jupiter which is going into 9th house making a rajyog so professionally the person should be successful now the the outer chart is the navamsha chart and jupiter is going into the navamsha of scorpio scorpio rashi is ruled by mars and when you come back to the rashi chart you see mars is exalted in capricorn so the navamsha dispositor of the 10th lord is very powerful now albert einstein was not only very successful in his profession but he was very influential also so influential that he got a citizenship of america he was very influential he had contacts with many influential people so much you know how influential albert einstein was right so two things are there the dispositor technically provides you with resources right the dispositor basically provides you with resources right in the rashi chart whenever you want to do something how many things you have for a particular example if the rashi lord of the fourth lord is powerful then suppose you want to purchase house now generally if you want to purchase house you have to save money and you have to purchase a house this is a normal condition if the rashi lord of the fourth lord is weak in that in that case your resources are even limited in that case if you want to purchase house you can purchase that but your income is also very less or your savings are less so saving money even for the down payment and your eligibility for loan is even weaker so the resources are less in that particular scenario where the rashi lord of the fourth lord is powerful then you have much resources that means you have good income added to that you have good savings in fact you have some ancestral property in village etc also that you can sell out you can get money from there and then you can purchase your property so you have high resources right or low resources that is decided by the rashi lord of the planet in d1 chart rashi lord of the planet of d3 chart does indicate for how long you will enjoy the result for example the rashi lord of the fourth lord in d3 will indicate for how long you will live in the property that you will purchase and ultimately the rashi lord of the planet in d9 does indicate fortune and in our example the rashi lord of the fourth lord in d9 will indicate that once you have purchased the property now what is fortune you purchase property and you want that i should live peacefully in this fam in this house and in this house my family should prosper my children's grandchildren should also live into this property now this is prosperity and this will only happen when the navamsha lord of the fourth lord is also powerful say d3 lord of the fourth lord is powerful so you live in that property for very long the property is there for very long it does not need very frequent repairs etc but the navamsh lord of the fourth lord is weak in that particular scenario much fortune is not there in that home so you live in that home you enjoy in that home for very long but your children etc don't want to live in that home they settle at some other place so though the longevity of the home is there fortune is not there simply put rashi lord is resource d3 lord is health or the longevity of the a result and the d9 rashi lord is the fortune of the result now talking of the most powerful planet who is the very bad planet what i have seen this is like very earlier in 2007 2008 i was looking at a horoscope and it was a like it it was fourth lord mercury sorry mars was in fourth house he was 10th and 5th house lord and the dasha of the mars was very pathetic now simply put the mars in the fourth house is digbalhin and i also told you malefic in the fourth house is very bad this principle i also made after that that malefic in the fourth house is very bad it is demon from the hell the principle that i have told you in fourth house video i made after this horoscope only so though it was a digbal heen mars and digbal heen planets you know losing directional strength that makes the native confused and all of these things are there but still it is the fifth house lord and fourth house that should make a type of rajyog 
and it is the 10th house lord expecting the 10th house it should give good result with respect to 10th house but somehow the complete dasha of mars was very pathetic specifically with respect to 5th house childbirth and with respect to 10th house profession stability in profession name fame status what went wrong in this horoscope i became very curious about it and after that i concluded in that horoscope that sat that this mars in the 4th house was not influenced by any planet not affected by any planet not conjoined by any planet no exchange so the dasha of the planet was very bad now this is only the dasha is bad mars was the 5th house lord did the person got a child yes he got a child after mars dasha mars was 10th house lord did the person not enjoy name fame status and profession he enjoyed before mars dasha after mars dasha he could not but that is there so in house lordship result this is mediocre but the dasha result was very pathetic and that day i have concluded and this thing i am sharing with you that if a planet is not influenced by any planet not aspected by any planet not conjoined by any planet no exchange four type of relationships are there mutual aspect aspect of dispositor right exchange <clears throat> conjunction right four type of relationships are there and if a planet is not connected to any other planet then the dasha antar dasha of the planet is very pathetic very troublesome generally in such dashas i have seen that people remain unemployed for almost i am using the word almost for almost the complete dasha and the complete dasha is bad there is only one solace for this if the planet who is not influenced by any other planet somehow gains strength by being exalted on rashi mul trikon vargottam etc then because the rashi result of the planet is good <clears throat> good result comes in dasha antar dasha otherwise otherwise there is no good result in the dasha antar dasha of planet and the planet is very pathetic it makes the person suffer greatly this is what this formula i made after that particular horoscope and after that on tens and thousands of horoscopes i have seen this formula and it works like magic so this you should take a note that if a planet is not connected to any other planet and he is not getting any significant strength also then in that particular scenario that planet's dasha antar dasha is pathetic and the planet will even not be able to save his own houses also even if he is expecting his own house he will not be able to save it right so this is something that have to be kept in mind and greatly works helps in predictions so these snippets of techniques you have to note down first then you have to remember it and then apply it in your horoscope analysis only then your analysis will be holistic thank you for watching